So I have my iPad out today, and I thought we would go through the uh, FSX mobile app that you can get right off the App Store. Free app, easy to find. Just type in uh, Foresight Sports, and you'll get two options immediately once you're inside the Apple app. And uh, basically, right there is the two options. So on the left side of the screen on my tablet, there you've got the FSX Mobile. And then on the right side, you have the performance fitting app iPhone. So both apps are available in um, uh, the App Store. This works for iOS and Android devices. Uh, the performance fitting app, even though it does say iPhone, uh, it does work on all iPad models, iPhones, etc. So that's a great app to use. Um, it's actually my preferred app out of uh, the two that uh, are available from Foresight. Uh, we did go have a look at the performance fitting app uh, last week on one of my other videos, so feel free to have uh, a look on the channel and uh, check that app out. Today we're looking at uh, FSX Mobile, so I've already got it installed, so basically once we open up we get a very familiar home screen, just like the home screen that we see on the, the PC software from FSX 2020. And I thought we would look at the driving range at the start, right off the bat have a quick look at the, what the driving range looks like. It is a 2D driving range, so it is um, it is tablet graphics, tablet software. It's quite basic. A lot of the options that you would have on the PC software are not the same as what they would be on the tablet. The tablet are much simplified compared to the PC software, but just to give you a quick look at what the range looks like. It's got a nice long range, um, inner city look. Do a little flyby here, 360 degree view. The, the green itself is exactly the same um, shot and setup distance as the PC software. So when you do change your hitting position and you move closer to the green, your hitting position actually moves closer to the green, not the green closer to the actual um, ball striker. Um, we also have a flag option. We can go and have a quick zoom straight down the line. We have our conditions on the top of the screen and we only have really four options. We don't get to add all the, the fancy stuff that you get to see in the PC software with all the different winds and, and things like that. Basically, we have green speed, green bounce, uh, green fringe, and then the ground. And again, slider cursor, increase uh, the green bounce or decrease it, uh, whatever your flavor is, and hit accept. And we have a replay. We'll have a look at the replay as well as the uh, analysis option for the actual ball flight and the ball data that we're going to have a look at. And in the corner here, if I type and tap on the, the mini map, you can see the mini map in the right hand corner. So we might just leave that on for now. One thing that I don't like about the app, and uh, one of the cons to the app compared to the PC software, is uh, the club tagging uh, option. It is quite limited. Um, if you guys are used to or familiar with the PC software, you can go into the PC software on FSX 2020 and tag your club with some detail and what I mean by that is um, for in my case I hit tailor-made iron so I would be able to go in and edit my iron to say tailor-made 7 iron and if I was testing a bunch of different uh, irons I would be able to call the brand the model and uh, the actual club and tag all the different clubs and uh, tag them with a different color as well in the app that we're looking at right now you don't get to tag anything other than a driver a fairway wood or an iron um, if you're going to hit multiple irons, they're all going to be tagged exactly the same. So an iron is an iron. You can't go in and edit it and call it a nine iron or call it a four iron. Um, that's, that's one con to the actual app itself. Um, not the end of the world, but it is a bit of a downside compared to, uh, to the um, PC software. And because everything that happens in your um, driving range session on the tablet, all of this data gets uploaded immediately to uh, the FSX Live Web Portal. So the web portal is, it's, it's great, it works great, um, always capturing and automatically uploading if you're, on, if you're constantly connected to, uh, to the internet. It'll always be uploading into the web portal. But in this case, because we are only, only tagging our shots with iron, it's going to show us hitting a lot of different irons. And if we were working through our bag from four iron or three iron all the way down, um, and unless you're hitting your normal clubs, you're hitting great shots and everything's the, the normal distances, you're not going to be able to distinguish which one was a, a six iron and which one was a five iron. So that is one bit of a downside. But uh, anyway, we're tagged on an iron here right now for our demonstration purposes. 
Um, we can go up to the top and on the, the screen I have the FSX 2020 over my shoulder here. Um, software, PC software turned on. And we have the green set up at 170 yards. So we'll set up the tablet software to 170 yards as well. And another thing that they could work on in the tablet is how sensitive the wheels are for picking your distance. But anyway, minor problem. So there we are, we're on 170 yards and 170 yards on the PC versus the app. It's not a comparison video between the two pieces of software, but uh, since I have them both on the screen, you can see uh, me swinging the golf club and hitting a shot. We might as well have the green set up in the same spot and same distance. So we're going to hit a shot, and we're not going to get into too much detail because the I would like to go through a couple of the other options. You have a skills challenge on the um, tablet app as well as um, a custom um, skills challenge. So driving range skills challenge, and then you can build your own custom, and we'll have a look at uh, those other two options as well. So let's hit a shot and see if we can get something to uh, chase up to the green. And we'll have a look at the, uh, the ball data and the analytics so everybody knows what they look like uh, on screen, on the tablet. So you can see the ball flight, you can see everything's landing in the same same spot, same spot on the green, and we'll have a quick look at the uh, analysis here, tablet, and pretty straight shot, touch a, touch a draw on it, and you can see the overhead view, and all the ball data at the top of the screen. We can click over and we can see our club data, our club analysis, um, the exact same analysis that we would see on the PC software and all of the data that's going on the tablet is getting pulled right off the uh, GC quad itself. So all um, the same whether it's PC or whether it's the actual tablet or you're looking at the, the uh, GC quad screen itself. And then I only hit one shot but um, you guys can hardly see it on there. But if we were hitting multiple shots this um, page is the table and you'd be able to compare all of your different shots, select the bad ones, delete them all. Um, pick and choose which ones you'd want to keep for your little range session and away you go from that point um, That's probably about that in a nutshell. It's not overly complicated. You get the you get the gist of that So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that Piece of the software and we'll go back and we'll have a look at our custom challenge And I created a custom challenge and I called it flop shot and basically you come in here and you add hit add. You can do multiple number stations. In my case for the test here I've only done one station but um, you can go all the way down to 20 stations. You can change multiple shots per station for your custom skills challenge. You can select station 1. You can change the, the distance of where your station is. 10 yards, 100 yards, 350 yards. You can customize your scoring. So again if you're used to the skills challenge on uh, FSX 2020 you have the center typically at five points, the middle um, white, white ring would be uh, typically the three points and then the outside would be in the one point. And then you can arrange your target diameter. So for my options, I already pre-built a custom challenge, it's one station. I did five shots uh, per the station and I might even actually edit that because we don't need to watch five shots, we'll see two there. So we'll do two shots for the station. We have one obstacle, so I put the glass uh, wall in front of my target. The target's out at 20 yards, and um, we'll see how we do. So basically, you hit start from there, and that's giving us an idea of what the center ring and the middle ring, outer ring, what the points uh, will add up to be. And you can see on the screen there that we do have our glass wall, flop shot wall there. We're hitting a 20-yard flop shot trying to land this ball inside the blue target and that's the name of the game. I think it's just pretty pretty darn neat that you get the option to build your own custom skills challenge. That's pretty pretty neat option from um, a Foresight uh, product from their software and it's, it's on a tablet. And of course you can do this inside the PC software and you can customize and build your own skills challenge however you would like to do it. Ooh, 
That one's blistered. Not much of a flop shot there. So no points on that particular shot. But um, pretty self-explanatory. Again, you can build as many stations as you feel like it. And uh, if you're not into customizing your own station, you can go right into, I'm not going to go through the whole skills challenge itself, but you can go into the familiar skills challenge that's the same as the PC software. And on the far right hand side you see that you have 14 shots. You're starting at shot number one is nice and close, trying to maximize your points, going through shot two, and as you get the, um, move through the shots progressively, the distances start changing, and um, the name of the game is to get it in the center. Skills challenge. Again, I'm not going to go through it. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube where you can have a look at sk different skills challenges, and you can uh, see some of the guys, uh, some of the real pros, um, try to tackle it and, and get some high scores in that space. So that's basically what you get in the tablet uh, from FSX Mobile. Again, the app is free, but you do need an FSX 2018 at minimum license to activate it. So you just got to keep that in mind if uh, you're going to use this app out on the range. So any questions, comment below. If you like the video, thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.